Welcome back. Oh, that was really excited. That was a very excited hi. Well, I am so excited that you are here again to join me at the Red Couch for another fabulous story. And I am so excited about this story today. It is about a game, and it's a game that I enjoy going and watching, and I also have a few friends that play this game too. It's about hockey. Have you ever been to a hockey game? Do you play hockey? Do you, what do you know about hockey? Tell me some things that you know about hockey already before we even read our story about hockey. Okay, all right, you do know some stuff about hockey. Okay, all right, and if you didn't know anything about hockey, that's okay. When we read our story, I think you might learn a couple of things about hockey. Now, our story is a special story because it's a rhyming story, and we all know how much I love to rhyme. So, if you haven't already, go to the description below, click on the link to take you to the activity where you can print it off and we can practice some rhyming at the end of the story. If you already have that, just put it to the side because we're gonna come to it a little bit later. All right, so if you're ready to go, give me two thumbs up and let's head in to read this story. Hockey, morning, noon, and night. Here's our friend Pepper, so happy and bright. It must be the hockey, morning, noon, and night. He wakes up real early from dreams of a goal, pours frosted hockey cereal, and milk in a bowl. He reads of his heroes on the back of the box, then zips up his bag full of pads, skates, and socks. He arrives at the rink, has a scrimmage on the ice. He lifts the puck and skates fast. Thanks his coach, who is nice. All his friends love to play. They shout their team cheer. Then it's time for hot chocolate while they dry their gear. Back at home, Pepper draws scenes of great hockey players. They're taped to the fridge, all hanging in layers. He plays mini sticks with his friend from next door. Their boots are the goalposts and they argue the score. They trade hockey cards and compare the big names while Pepper's mom and sister play their own hockey games. The Hurricanes is their team and the games are intense his sister's the goalie. His mom plays defense. Pepper dreams of playing in an NHL game, hopes for 20 hat tricks to make the Hall of Fame. If he can't play pro, Pepper says with a grin, he'll still play the anthem on his violin. Pepper's dad has flooded the pond, and it's great! They put on their helmets, excited to skate. Thursday, they shoveled to get the ice right. There's nothing like pickup on the pond at night. The neighbors join in, all playing for fun. Pepper shoots, doesn't score, but still feels he's won. Everyone laughs as they skate, shoot, and aim the puck toward the net in the final game. It's time to head home. Pepper's tired as can be. In his hockey PJs, he finds the game on TV. Now Pepper's fast asleep. 
No. Third period came too late. As he nods off, in his dreams, he will skate. Tomorrow he'll wake, still filled with delight. For Pepper loves hockey, morning, noon. Wasn't that such a fun story? And we learned so many things about hockey in that story. And did you hear all the rhyming words? They were in there. Okay, if you printed out that worksheet and you have it, awesome. If you have not, quick pause, go get it and come back with it. And what you need is you need um, a grown up to either help you or sit there with you while you cut out all the hockey pucks underneath the hockey nets because we're going to sort those hockey pucks by their rhyme families. So go ahead and get all that handled and get some glue and then come right back here so that we can do this, okay? All right, well, first of all, we can't really play hockey at the red couch because, well, we can't play hockey at the red couch. We need, what do we need to play hockey on? Like, what's the most, well, I don't know if it's the most important thing, but. We can't play hockey at the red couch. Where do we need to go? We need to go to an ice rink. So here we are, we are at our ice rink and there's the goal right above my head. So what we're gonna do in this activity, we have two rhyme families. We have the at rhyme family and the ought rhyme family. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a hockey puck come up and it's gonna have a word written on it. And our job is to figure out which rhyme family that uh, hockey puck belongs in and then you're going to glue that hockey puck underneath the goal on your worksheet. You see how one goal says at, one goal says ought. That's how you know which goal to shoot it into, okay? And if you ever want to want to have fun, just you can shoot the hockey puck in there. No big deal. Go ahead and have some fun with it, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's look at the first one that's going to pop up. Here we go. Can you find the hockey puck that has this word written on it? This word says k, at. This word has the at family in it. K, at says cat. Nice job. Okay, are we gonna put this hockey puck in the at goal or the at goal? Where should it go? You're right, it should go into the at goal because it has the at rhyme family. So go ahead and put some glue on the back of it. Slap it on underneath that at goal. And let's look at the next one. Okay, here we go. Oh. Hmm, can you find the hockey puck that has this word on it? Hmm. Does this word have the at rhyme family? Oh, no, it does not. It does not. It could kind of trick you, but it does not have the at family in it. It actually has the ought rhyme family. This word has the ought rhyme family. Let's read it. D ought. What is that word? Blend those together. It's the ought family. You are right. So put some glue on the back of the hockey puck and glue it underneath the ought family goal. You are doing such an awesome job listening and finding these rhyme families. Way to go. All right, let's see what our next one is. Now, what rhyme family do you think is here? Can you find the hockey puck that has this word written on it? And then tell me what rhyme family you see. You do see the at family, nice job. Let's see if we hear the at rhyme family too. Let's see, b, at. Do you hear the at rhyme family too? So we see the at rhyme family and we hear the at rhyme family. That must mean that this word goes in the at family goal. That's right. Let's see if we can blend it together. B at says bat. Awesome job. Wow, you're really, really, really good at this. I feel like you've been practicing since the last time we met at the red couch. Have you? You, ha I knew it. You didn't even have to tell me. I knew it. I knew it. Way to go. All right, glue this one into the at family goal. Hurry, we have so many more words to do. 
All right, let's see what the next one is. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, find this hockey puck for me. Find the hockey puck that has this word written on it. Okay, what do you think? What's the Ryan family in this word? Is it at? Are you sure? Double check. At? Yeah, it's ought. It was not at. It is ought. Nice job. Great job going back and checking to make sure you had it. That's impressive reading. When you do that, when you're not sure and you go back and you check it, that is some pretty impressive reading skills. Good for you. This word does have the ought family in it. Now let's see if we can read it. N ought. What word is that? Not. Very good. That word says not, and it has the ought rhyme family in it. So let's glue it underneath the ought family goal. Way to go. All right, it looks like we just have a few more, right? We are doing so awesome at this. Okay, what do we have here? Do we have the at family in this word or the ought family in this word? We do have the ought family in this word. Awesome job. I see ought. Let's see if I hear ought too when I sound out this word. Are you ready? <sighs> ought. Do we hear ought? Yes, we do. We see ought and we hear ought. That means that this word must have the ought rhyme family. And you know what? Because this word has the ought rhyme family and the word not had the ought word rhyme family, that means those words rhyme. Did you know that? Did you know that when words have the same rhyme family, they rhyme? So hot and not and dot, they all rhyme because they all have the same rhyme family. And what is the rhyme family? Ought. The rhyme family is ought. Very good. That's what makes them all rhyme. You are so smart. Gosh, you are so smart. Okay. So where are we going to put hot? Where are we going to put this word? We're going to put it in the ought goal. Excellent job. So go ahead and do that because the next one's coming right up. Okay, what do we have here? We have what rhyme family? I almost told you, but then I was like, I don't need to tell them. I don't need to tell them. They've got this. They are really good at rhyming. I don't need to tell them. So what rhyme family do we have here? We have the at rhyme family. You are correct. Let's see if we can sound it out. S at. Now blend it. Sat. Awesome job. So if this word has the at rhyme family in it and hat has the at word rhyme family in it, does that mean that those two words rhyme? Yes, that means those two words rhyme. Because remember, when words have the same rhyme family, they rhyme. And what is the rhyme family in sat and hat? It is at. Excellent job. Way to go. All right, it looks like we only have two more words, so get this one glued in there and let's head to the next one. All right, I'm gonna have you do this one all by yourself. I don't think you need my help at all. I think you've got this. What's the rhyme family? Ought, excellent. Okay, now let's sound it out and then put it back together, okay? First sound, K, rhyme family. Ought, blend it together. Caught. Excellent job. All right, where are we going to put this word? In the ought goal. Nice job. Get it on over there. You are a super rock star. I'm very proud of you. You are amazing. All right, are you ready for the last one? I feel like you already probably did this last one because you're just on top of things and I'm super impressed with you. But let's just check it out, okay? Okay. Ooh. That's interesting. I feel like we just talked about this word. All right. What's the rhyme family? At. Very good. So if this word has the at rhyme family, can you think of another word that would then rhyme with this word? Like cat would rhyme with this word. Why do hat and cat rhyme? 
because they have the same rhyme family. And the rhyme family is at. Oh my gosh, you've got this. You know what makes words rhyme now. You know how to make rhyming words. You've got this. You could just go out and you can rhyme all day long now. I am so proud of you. Way to go. Okay, let's sound it out and then glue it on. We have at says hat. Excellent. Amazing job today. Glue this one in the at goal and let's head back to the red couch. Awesome job. Okay, friends, that was so much fun. We got to read a story about hockey. We got to look at some rhyming words. We learned that words rhyme when they have the same rhyme family. And we got to sort words by their at rhyme family or their ot rhyme family. You did such an amazing job. I am so proud of you. Thanks for coming and for listening and for doing rhyming with me. I had so much fun. But here's what I want you to do for me. Since you know what makes words rhyme now, I want you to go on a rhyme hunt now. So when you're reading stories with your parents or maybe your siblings or your cousins or your aunts or your uncles, whoever you're reading a story with, I want you to see if you can find some words that rhyme. And I want you to listen and see if you can say some words that rhyme and hear some words that rhyme. Remember, you're listening for and you're looking for those rhyme families to help you rhyme, okay? So I want you to see how many words and rhyme families you can find. Good luck. Thanks for coming. Bye.